the it's problem. The, you don't, you don't cut it short. Hey, hey, Chris, if you did this, what do you think Darius would tell you? <laughs> oh, man, he'd be all over my ass. <laughs> Bro, you stupid. <laughs> what are you, stupid? Look at you. Oh, that's just like Chris. He was Look probably at- doing this or doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do you, I'm gonna do you like uh what's his name would, do me uh you really believe I would do this on purpose now? I really <laughs> fucking thought eight o'clock. I forgot Sunday night at 1 a.m. they changed the time. So the time adjusted one hour back, daylight saving or whatever the fuck that call that's called. Yeah. So I thought it changed everywhere. That's what I, I texted the uh, uh, if you see the messages to Chris. I was downstairs with the when we, no, yesterday I texted him because make sure there is a time a time difference and it's uh, eleven no, plus eleven. I was, was thinking that it changed uh, anyway. I thought for you guys it would be ten o'clock now. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Let's go, so, man. So, so what now wait a minute. So the time only changed only here in Germany? Yeah. In, in Serbia. In, in Serbia. Serbia. Yeah. In Serbia. Oh, so I thought it changes everywhere, you know? I thought this is like you know, international. Anyways, shit. Listen, hey. What's up with Chris Bumstead doing the fucking proc show? What's going on? All it's right. lovely. It's lovely. It's good for bodybuilding. Yeah, but how how did this come? How, what do you think? How did this come about? Okay. Because here's, here's the thing. This is what I think is, uh, yeah. Is uh, he he always said when we interviewed him before he came to Primetime Muscle before he came uh, he did you know numerous interviews and he said if he ever went up to open it would be easy for him to do one after he just competed in Olympia and oh, he was on a, a rebound on a refeed yeah a refeed and you're tight and hard and he said that would be a fun time for him to 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 try it. He did announce it many times that he would still want to do the open show. I mean, there was a, in several occasions publicly and privately when I talked to him. And then you have uh, guys like uh, Sean Ray or, or Jay Cutler and some other like pumping him up that, yeah, he can win the Olympia, you know. Uh, if you remember when uh, Big Rami won Olympia uh, 21 or 22, I forgot. And Chris in 21. Yeah, 21. Yeah. At uh, 21, when they had uh, that photo shoot and Chris was right next to Big Rami, I mean, a lot of people were making comments like, holy shit. I mean, Chris can. Yeah, but this, this could have been an angle. Come listen, there's no way that Chris yeah. sizes up with Rami. I, I don't uh, care. What I know. But this this brings this to, uh, thing in perspective. Uh, let's talk about uh, our past. Danny Padilla, Mohamed Maccabi, Lila Brada. You know, mm-hmm. and the list goes on of the guys. They're not even 212 and were beating, you know, Lee Haney. I mean, Maccabi. But I think it's different. I think, I personally think it's different if you're short because you can still look massive because you're shorter. So okay. if you're tall, he's a tall guy, even for open class. Yeah, he, he, so, so, so what do you think? Structurally, he's quite perfect, right? Wide shoulders, small waist. You know, so he has that. So I, I think, uh, let's analyze him. Frontally, a uh, width structure, yeah, he can hang on. He doesn't have a thickness. He doesn't have a thickness of a open bodybuilder like Martin. Martin's legs, tree trunks, you know, a back. There is a lot of beef there. Yeah, go ahead. But it's going to have a lot of detail. Yeah. So, okay, make a case, Milos. Yeah, I want to make a case. Uh if you if you listen to Tyler Mannion, who dissected each and every pose between Mike and Chris, Chris lost two poses out of four, <laughs> right? And there was like one was very close. Backdouble biceps could go either way. And as oh, Tyler gave back double to to Chris, he he end up giving it to Chris. He yeah. you know, so front double was Mike, side chest was uh, Chris, back double was narrowly uh, Chris, abs. Were, were, was Mike, right? So if Mike could beat him in those poses, so can uh, uh, Martin, obviously, and whoever else is going to be there. But what I was saying about uh, uh, hashtag beautiful bodybuilding, okay, but classic not enough for open. I, I think that a lot of people pump him up with this, like, oh, yeah, it's possible. And, and it's quite possible. If he's like 
250 pounds on stage, the what, six and a half or six one? I don't know exactly how tall he is. He's, I think he's over six one, isn't he? Really? Well, the thing is, they wait, they they uh they did his height, but they didn't they didn't match his afro down. His strongest pose would be a it was on top of the head. But, so what are you saying? They gave him the cheated for him? I don't know. I'm just saying they didn't. Yeah. What are you trying to say, though? Yeah, that's His hair is taller now. But, but, <laughs> you, you, are you saying they measured him taller than he was? No, I said he's got he, he's got like an uh, he had more like a like a like a pick cut. I don't know. If he picked <laughs> it, but... so you picked it, <laughs> maybe hair hair transplant made him taller. Before he didn't have hair here. Hey. <laughs> but, but yeah, listen, what is you don't know what he is now. His best pose is front last spread that he doesn't even do in the classic. That's that's his strongest pose. He he looks ridiculous in that one. Side okay. chest, he looks ridiculous. Okay. I mean, I think I'd give him the, the front last spread right now. <laughs> okay. Go, okay. Listen, okay. I I see what you guys saying, but we talked about this before with other guys from, from classic, not Chris Munster, because we didn't know he was going to do the open. And what was you guys saying? It's bodybuilding. How can someone with, the, with 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 this amount? I'm just getting back to what we talked before. How can he beat guys like uh, Rafael Brandao, like uh, uh, even Horse MD, like big big bodybuilders as a classic guy? Because if you say Milos, and I don't know, you might you might that's might what might what you feel that he can beat these guys. That means every guy in the top five in classic physique could go to Prague and win. Well, uh, uh, how many guys in classic? Every guy has that structure. No, hold on. Mike has, I think Mike Sommerfeld has more like a bodybuilding structure than anybody else. You know what? But I I mean, I, I know when we, when Mike was on and he said that he didn't say that, I, I almost distinctly remember or thought when he was here in Dubai training, that he was trying to do the open class and he was gaining all of his weight. You remember okay. all that mask in the game before and size and I I he was a bodybuilder. I suggested him to do classic and he did classic the first time in 2019 at my show. Hey, hey, I hey, was the one that way in height I checked his height. I said go in classic. He had to suffer to make weight. Yeah. But he barely made it. And hey, I said hey, hey, I told but, but, okay, tell me the truth. Mm -hmm. uh, Bamstad is the only one that creates illusion of a size because of the width and right. the shoulders and the crazy yeah. shoulders, right? And then oh, he like, goes up, you know, so front he legs, front lat spread, and front of biceps is great pose of his. I don't think it's, you know, spectacular because there's no biceps really to, to create the picture. And legs are down. Okay, I'm going to ask you okay, straight. Okay, well, listen. Okay, let me tell you one thing. One thing before you go, Dennis. The big water head. Lee, Haney, Lee Haney didn't have big biceps. Chris, Shit. Jordan I, Hayes didn't. Chris. I didn't have big biceps, huh? Did your head grow, man? Because I can see only your eyebrows, man. Put that water head in the picture, man. Come on, man. <laughs> go ahead, go. On. Where you at? I didn't have. I didn't have this. I was sitting my the laptop on top of this last time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, by the way? In Dubai. in Dubai. Are you still in Dubai? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So go ahead, man. So hey, come closer, then there's more light if you come closer. No, it's yeah. Okay. yeah. It's much better. Yeah. yeah, you gotta you gotta block the light behind you with your head. Yeah, yeah. Block the light behind you. That's good. <laughs> so you were saying you bring my light on? No, yeah. you're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah. All right. Okay, you were saying what? Star going, a little shining star around your head. <laughs> I, I forgot what you were saying. I forgot too, because he was saying something interesting. Uh, about the biceps? <laughs> yeah, so you said you don't, he didn't have the big biceps. biceps. Yeah. Like Lee Haney. I don't, think, I don't think it's going to come into play that much just because of the. Uh... I, I like the fact that you say I didn't have big biceps. Chris, you had fucking huge biceps. Come you on. You had a crazy biceps, yeah. Yeah, what are you talking about? Why are you separated, talking about? but I didn't think they were like big. Uh, no, so no, maybe no. the one is separated, like Ron is, but you had fucking huge biceps. What are you Baby talking biceps. about? Piss me off. I don't know. That's I, what really I, I never wanted I to lift my arms next to you. But, but still, listen, I, I understand everything you guys are saying, but 
Are you guys saying Chris Bumstead can win prop? Can beat Martin Fitzwater? Can it's not out of question. It's not out of question. I wouldn't Lula even have a question. Anything is possible. We know that. But Milos, yeah. do you yeah. think he can win? The he most could. popular. Listen, the most popular bodybuilder. Uh, uh, you know, know. Oh, no, I'm not going to say politics, but uh, as much as we want to be clear and not biased and everything, it's what's also good for the sport. Imagine if he wins and goes to the Olympia and he beat guy that was fourth. Fashionably, he could be third. So that puts him in the running, right? He's not going to the Olympia. It's over. No, he, he said he said also, if he wins the uh, Prague, he's doing Olympia. That's sufficient. Well, well, that, well, that's already the win right there. That's a for sure, he said. <laughs> <laughs> that's already, well, it's already, it's it's already, already I mean, I'll ask, I'll say, okay. Imagine Chris going to the Olympia. Oh, come on. Maybe that I, would I, be I, I, internet. I don't know, but that, that's I, I read I They can sell out a stadium if that happens. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Chris. I thought, I'll be better. honest. I thought when I when I saw the news, about his fake I, news, thought, I thought damn, Elvis is coming out of the pocket to get him to come on get on stage because they don't blow the tickets in eight minutes. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine? I don't know about eight minutes, but this yeah, that's, that's an like, <laughs> hour. I like this hour. I like all, to jump on this an hour. I don't care if it's an hour, a day, or two days. It doesn't matter. But that, tell you. that was just a, pro, a promotional, like just a, 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 that's that that that's what it's for. I I believed he coming out of the pocket with good bucks. Dennis, for him to get on that I, stage. I only got two hours of sleep because everybody was calling me. And talking to me about it and calling me. And I was like up all night with this commotion I, about what were you saying? But how I you retire, it. how you retire off stage two weeks ago and you step back on stage two weeks later? No, retire from classic physique. Okay. No, he, he didn't say that. He said he's he's retired. He's I mean he's done. He didn't say I'm done with classic. But he, but he did always say that though, Dennis. That he said that would be the perfect scenario is for him to finish the show. I and understand him. that he said yeah. that, but he also so retired. He, it he makes retired. sense that way. Okay, well, well, listen. I think it's a great idea. I think it's awesome for him to do that show. I think it's awesome for the Brock show because I guarantee you they will have standing room only. Oh, uh, now no. He said for Europe. Imagine they might look for a bigger audience now. All of Europe going to be there. If he said that um, that he's doing the Olympia if he wins. Well, buy your Olympia tickets now if you can. Shit, they're gonna have to buy more more seats or something. I think. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that, that more, so, more seat auditorium. You guys remember his pictures when he was starting and uh, he competed in open bodybuilding? Yeah, heavyweight. I remember, even back in the day, I have that uh, Mike Cipriani guy or light heavy, and he heavy was sending pictures heavy. like, "Oh yeah, I I was beating Chris." You know, in a in an open division, like okay, <laughs> and, and Chris uh, is taking over. Chris is legitimate contender because of the width I and the, and the quality. Listen. Okay, so Dennis, you analyze. Hmm. Uh, Martin had a great condition, right? Everybody praised him for condition, but when you and I see him in the gym, super thin skin, like paper thin skin, right? But then he doesn't appear. Get sliced and diced and striated. Okay, only most muscular from the front is ridiculous. The <laughs> Glutes are ridiculous. Chris Bamstad has this polishment about him. Ship, everything is happening, right? The you know, aren't you always the one that says hashtag bodybuilding? Yes, but hashtag what is hashtag bodybuilding for me? Uh, wide shoulders, small waist, sweeping ties, beautiful physique. That's my hashtag bodybuilding. Okay, okay but didn't, didn't, didn't you also said that uh, uh, bodybuilding, a bigger guy should always beat a smaller guy? Can a six foot one, 240 pound Chris Bumstead? 252, let's say. How do you know that? That's how it, even he projects this. Look, Lee Haney at his best. Well, listen, you know, we don't know what he's gonna. Yeah, he could be literally. It's not really the weight. It's kind of how he's gonna look, though, right? Yeah. So stage, how, how should he look? Should he go for a extra fullness, which I think would be a mistake? Uh, I mean, 
you can be, he was a little bit flattish in the chest in the Olympia. That, okay. was, that was noticeable. Okay. So he can't afford that, but he can't afford losing these things because that's can, that can separate him. The wide show, he's wider, taller, wider. And when he opens up, yeah, you know, it's possible for him to take uh, those things. I know when Milos goes like that, then his fucking his lights out. If do he got that, know, do we know? Do we know the lineup? Should be a lineup by now. Well, yeah, got Rafael is doing a horse. MD is doing it. Clarida is doing it. Amy Romeragic is doing it. Uh, I mean, Akim Williams is doing Romania, so for sure he's going to just go. Yeah, he's doing that. Uh, Akim. The you know uh, Christian Wolski the. Uh, Polish guy that you really like it. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he's doing it. I mean, oh, the, only one, the only one that's actually really ch can be dangerous for Chris is actually Martin Fitzwater and Raphael. Is Raphael, Raphael is he in it? Yeah, he is in it. And, and uh, of course, he's doing it too. He just texted me last night he's going to do it. Oh, but he, he was going to do Romania and Spain, but now he's going to do that one too. Uh, yeah. He's in Spain. Are you working with him or you're not or you're not? Because you should know that he's doing it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, of course. He, he was he was just planning, we were planning Romania, not Prague. And uh uh Spanish show, the last show of the season. What does he look like? Like uh last year's uh, uh Romania, you know, and right now? Uh, yeah, the last year Romania he was peeled. Yeah, comparison photos. I just sent last night, you know, one to one. It's very, very similar. He is a yes. couple, couple of kilos heavier, and uh, and uh, yeah, yeah. This so is, he has to go for that look, for a ripped look, right? Yeah. So I mean, very comparable. Okay, it's a small picture, so you can maybe it's see. A posing picture. No, yeah, I do every pose, you know. Because I'm like, I don't know, because maybe he wants to drive it. <laughs> yeah. you know? uh, because he understands me, don't post. Okay, so uh, <laughs> don't, don't post. post. That means that this, will, this will this will this will show on Sunday. It shows over. Yeah, no, it's two weeks. It's not oh, Sunday. Oh, right, it's not this weekend. It's next. Okay, yeah. so they. Hey, you know, two. you guys know I'm the official ambassador of the competition. So I will be in attendance, oh. front row, middle. Official ambassador of the... How was the Dubai Muscle Show? I was cool. I saw your photo up there a few times. I was going to take a photo by it and flip you off. Don't worry. I got, I got all the pictures. I was sending... I, had to do it. <laughs> I feel so bad. I had to do a video and tell the fans. I said, yeah, man, stop by at the booth. Get some free sandwiches. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, I can't be there. <laughs> was, was ass. So I moved my show next year to November, to November 22nd, just so I, because I'm always at the same weekend as the Dubai Muscle Show. And I got it. It's the second time that I couldn't show up, you know, and I have a booth there. So, but how was it? Because I, I talked to Dexter, when was it? Friday. Was the first day Friday? Yeah, I didn't go to the first day. I went the second day. So I was kind of mad. Man, they got me all the way in the back. Ain't no people back here. <laughs> you know Dexter, right? <laughs> Man. <laughs> Dexter. Yeah. Uh, so how was it? Was it the same as last year or was it less? A little bit, little bit less. Yeah, see, I heard that from a couple of people now. It's not the same. Because uh, it was a new <laughs> venue. It was like an hour away. Like almost like an hour away from the main area of oh, Dubai. So from the city. The other, the other time was right in the heart of it, you know. Uh, and some people didn't go; they didn't really realize how it was going to be, where where it was. They were kind of confused. Oh, so it wasn't as big, too. Totally different place. Was it the same amount of vendors, or was it less? I thought it was. It was like one big room. It wasn't, as far as I saw, just one big room. I didn't see that there was multiple rooms like the uh, at the, the last year. Yeah. So you were there with Yava Labs or? Yeah, Yava and, and my my uh, Real Deal Nutrition. Oh, okay. I, yeah. How's that going? Yeah. And uh, I saw uh, Flex was there. 
Yeah. Uh, there with Dex, same, same, they're right next to yeah, each other. Same. Yeah. They're on opposite sides of each other, though, not side by side. So yeah, so I guess it wasn't it wasn't as good as it was last year. Yeah, well, shit. You you switch switch the topic. I, I feel like we just uh, started yeah. with the Prague. Is I, it, is, 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 I, I think it's gonna be off the chart show. You know, think about Sean Clarita entering uh, as well. Okay, because uh, he's. I would, I would be surprised if Sean Clarita wins. You okay, be I, I wouldn't be surprised. Hey, uh, what I, what I want to say about Chris is he will be the hybrid because classic guys been way more detailed than the open guys, what we considered. But then when you put added size with that detail, um, you might have a really good look there. Yeah, I, that's what I was saying. I think he might shock us with being 15 pounds, 20 pounds bigger than at the Olympia. And it would definitely be bigger than you ever saw. That, that, that could be. I don't even know what is his off season weight. What is his stage he's weight? Up there, dude. He's a big dude, man. I mean, he's a big frame. Forty two at the Olympia. Stage weight. So, she, so he might come in two sixty. No, dude, he weighed in at two forty something at the um, at the Olympia. Forty two, yeah. He might come in at two sixty, bro. Yeah, he he can he be fifteen two, pounds heavy. Easy. He was two forty two for sure. All right. Uh, from our bicep. Okay. And I was looking uh, on, on Google to find, back in the day, there was explanation of each pose, front double biceps, what the judges are looking at, right? And then yeah. side chest, all the mandatory poses. This is old IBB rules from 40 years ago when we, when we used to compete. But uh, double biceps also are looking at the biceps. That's Chris's weakness. Chris doesn't have a legs exactly to match, you know, Horse MD or uh, or uh, uh, Hafel or Martin or <laughs> the the Akeem Williams. Jesus I don't Christ. think he has enough size to match any of those guys, even Clarita, when it comes to pound to pound, pound to pound. But what he has is the structure that makes yeah. him look. He has not only hey. the structure; he has the aura that's about him. Can you match when he steps on that stage? I mean, there's no way, but you're going to have to look. You got to probably look at him more than you look at everybody else. It's going to be very hard for the judges not to kind of get, get you know, a little bit biased because of the audience, you know. As you, could you imagine what's going on there? And, and Dennis, when was the last time we heard a tidal wave come through like that in bodybuilding? When was the last time? Uh, they, they, don't have a, they don't have a relaxed round in a, in a classic, right? They don't have a quarter turns. Yeah, they do. They do. They do. They do? Yeah. 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 I overlooked that one. <laughs> I, I don't remember. I don't remember what. I don't remember what Chris looks in a relax from the side. He looks good. He, yeah? He's a. He looks good in the quarter turn. That frame carries him, so the the illusion is there. From a side, uh, it's not not usable. Added, added. Let's say a good fifteen pounds bigger. It's got to be at least that, right? Yeah. When he had a full chest, there was a side triceps shots that he looked phenomenal, okay? Side chest, he looks phenomenal, okay? Uh, ab shot, okay. I don't like. Uh, lot spread from the front, definitely I like. Back double, it's not bad, but he's going to lose this to many okay, guys. Last spread. I've never seen that one before. Yeah, there are, yeah. Not as good as front. I've never seen it before. Yeah, yeah the, 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 most the, the, shot, he looks good. He's most muscular, right? He just doesn't have enough size for that. Well, I guess we won't know until we see him stand next to these guys. It's different if you stand you, next to smaller guys, and then when you come to a show where you stand next to bigger guys. It's going to be different. We're going to have to see what it looks like. I think have to compare really, him with uh, Hafel before, uh, like picture pictures of uh, uh, Brandau and um, Chris uh, Bamstad. Rafael is about... About the same height, or maybe a little bit shorter, maybe. but yeah, he he's two sixty. Yeah, is he going to look that way next to him? That, that's yeah. the question. Yeah, see, see, listen, we can we can question so many things. We don't really know until we see it. It's definitely probably after the Olympia the most interesting thing this year. And I just I don't know. I just don't. I don't know if I can 
He did. He did. You hear him say that if he if he wins, he's going to do the. I Olympics? didn't hear it, but uh, there was. Uh, yeah, I didn't yeah, even know. Oh, his Instagram. Uh, his Instagram. I, I was under the impression that he's done because he wants to take care of his health and take care of his family. You know, it it, it didn't sound like he's doing another show while he's doing the Olympia and Open. The way he he said bye, he was gone. If you're Chris and you're doing the Prague, why would you do it? And then if you want the Prague, just so he can, just so he can say he, just so he can say he did another open show and get out. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Listen, I, I, we don't know. We can just speculate. No one knows but Chris. I wish you. Uh, I wish he would come out and talk about these different things. Or I, from what I was under the impression that he wouldn't do the open because he's not he's not able or capable or wanted. He's not. He doesn't want to do the things that he would need to do in order to be competitive. And that's that's the impression that I had all these years that he's not willing to do the things he need to do because of his but, immune, if, if autoimmune disease, you know? Why would you, right now, he just had a baby and had a family, why would he push your envelope now? He goodness, can, he not, went out on top. He just went out know, on top, I mean, best case but, scenario. But a rebound, a rebound or a, or, or a rebound after a show is not really pushing the envelope. You I, added some what, water Chris, you didn't, you didn't, I hear you, you didn't get what I meant. I didn't, yeah, I said, I, he's I, I the Maybe he's going to get out after Prague. For him to say he's going to do the Olympia after that next year, I don't see that happening. But listen, I might be wrong. Shit, who knows? Maybe he's see this happen. under the rebound. Maybe he just decided to do that a couple of days ago because he saw what he looked like. I said, fuck, maybe I should get on that stage. Maybe he got, mm, here you go. Can you get on that stage? We don't know. We will never know. Sure, he doesn't need that. That uh, he's making more money. Just yeah, he's not a. He's not a. I don't think he's. Uh, you never know. Swayed you, never know. you never know. But he. But he. Look, he never his even shots, did. His shots are great. That's uh, that's his uh, page, right? Uh huh. This phenomenal. But legs are still not there, right? Legs yeah. are not open division size thickness legs. So what does that mean? Do you think do you think they're gonna look past the legs? Okay, you, you be the, you be the judge. What can you I'm do with Chris? I'm not judging. But Chris is gonna have to be there in running and compared. But then if they compare him in a few rounds, you know, are you gonna notice what you're supposed to notice? Are you gonna judge what you're supposed Something, to notice? If you if you're not if you don't notice this from the second he steps on stage, then you're never gonna notice it. That's not something that you catch on like three three rounds in. You heard, start, you heard uh, John Ray. But we never know what he looks like open. when he spoke, huh? You you heard uh, uh, Sean Ray claiming that Chris can win the Open Olympia. I heard Sean Ray say a lot of things. Sean is usually on point. So what are you saying? You believe that? I mean, expert like this can see him. Winning. I mean, Sean was too high. Are, are, are you saying Chris Bumstead will beat Samson? I'm not saying that. You know, oh, 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 that. What is that? How can he win the Olympia if he don't beat Samson? <laughs> you have to beat him, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, as you now, you're coming back to, you know, big man. Big bodybuilding, like Milos Artis would say. Yeah. Hashtag bodybuilding. Is it different of hashtag classic or hashtag bodybuilding? Size, thickness, fullness, like you always explain, Milos. I, I agree you with you. Me, how can you. he be the guy like Samson yeah. or a bigger guy? Yeah. How is that even possible? But they would say on the crazy detail that Hadi Chopin had, right? Which means you have to catch these guys off guard, not being in shape. That's the only thing. Yeah, but there's, there's different levels of conditioning, right? We agree that Samson was better than normal, right? But it was still not uh, spectacular conditioning, and uh, I know uh, Bamsa had a spectacular conditioning many times. 
You know, this time it was very good. You can flattish through chest and smaller legs. And I then know, and I know guys with spectacular condition. Uh, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, uh, Patrick. Uh, uh, fuck, what's his last name? He has spectacular condition, but he was too Morning. small. Patrick Moore. Patrick Moore. He had this one year spectacular condition at the Olympia, but he was too small. Down. His legs yeah. were not up to par. So I can I can bring <laughs> a couple of other guys that were in spectacular condition, but they didn't have the size. Now, a two hundred and sixty pound. Um, 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 and I, I don't want to come across as somebody that doesn't believe he can do it. I'm just trying to prove, make, make a couple of cases here. So now a 250-pound Chris Bumstead next to a 300-pound Samson. You what tell happened? me. Or Andrew Jack. Or, or fucking all the big boys. Nathan the Asher. You come and you tell me. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm on top of my head. I can't even think Hey, of hey. Andrew Jack, front last spread. And bumps that last spread. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. But it would be the same, just fucking 40 pounds bigger. Come on now. <laughs> what, are, what are we telling each other right here? <laughs> We're telling each other right now that the classic guy is just going to come take over? Don't you? Th how do you I think? About even, the... hey, come on. Man, come on. Don't, you, hey, don't text me I... later and tell me what you really feel. Hey, they're going to be. They need to text you. They need to do it. Would you bet those guys gonna be really focused on uh on him not going ahead of them coming from the classic? They're gonna be really, really focused on the posing, focused laser, laser focused on this this competition <laughs> when they go. I tell you, I tell you something. I tell you something. Martin Fitzwater, Sean Clarita are gonna be his biggest threat. Then uh, uh Rafael. Rafael and uh, I mean, I Rafael, need, Rafael would need to be super peeled. I think and he's going for it, you know. If, well, he's, if he's going for it, he might have to lose some more size. Yeah, and yeah. he might not be 260 no more. He might be 240. And he might yeah, be very comparable. And yeah. then he's going to be comparable because they're both symmetrical. Then he's going to have to. That's what I'm saying. It's got to be someone way shorter than him with size. Dennis. Have you seen so many bodybuilders with front diced or looking good, backside, not yeah. so much? Yeah. Like, it's been like three or four guys in an Olympia like that. Yeah. I was like, yeah, also, I mentioned this before. It's very interesting. Guys either have a torso or limbs. Hmm. Like, when you look at the, okay, Lee Haney had a crazy chest and back, but legs and arms were not uh, the same. You know, <laughs> level. Uh, Dorian also arms would not match or legs would not match his crazy back, right? So Arida, I mean, when you say when you say Arida, he has a great legs and, and arms, torso, chest has never been full enough. He doesn't have a wide structure. He has to look like in Reno to be competitive. But you don't, Reno, think, you don't think you can repeat that? You know, rebound is one thing. Huh? When you catabolize the muscle and lose the muscle. I know, but he had how many weeks until the show to fucking push Yeah, back? three, four weeks, yeah. Possible. Like, like but Bumstead. he was hard. Just like Chris Bumstead can blow up, so can Sean Clarita. Yeah, but, but that was a long time ago. Sean yeah. Clarita, when we did that Olympia battle, he was, he was pretty dense and hard then. I just think they overdid the diet. Yeah, of course, they sure did. Until he took away from what he could have brought. So I'm replenish that. Replenish that. Metabolize the muscle. Yeah. Okay. And it's one thing when you just, like Chris Bamsad could, uh, you know, lose all the body fat and be in shape, but not go super deep and then he can't come back. I think that Clarita went way too, too low and could not come back. His condition was crazy, but legs and arms were. You know, and torso was not the same Sean Clarita that we know. Can he come back? Dennis, maybe you make a point. It's not like one week or two weeks. It's like four weeks. Maybe he can come back. Hmm. Brandao uh, didn't deliver at Olympia. Nothing close to what we were expecting. Dennis, you were seeing his pictures like week before, 
and you you were impressed, right? I saw from the front. I didn't see him from the back. Yeah, we yeah. saw him from the back together. The, uh, yes. the third, and uh, yes, you know, people yeah. showed the hamstrings. And everybody, everybody was like, "Oh, I don't know about his conditioning. Look at the hamstring; not there yet." And I think if he gets it in, in really peeled. He's going to have to lose weight, and then it's not going to be that new growth is not there. I think it was. I don't think. I don't think it was enough. How about think, Akeem Williams? You seen the recent pictures of him? Akeem Williams has great shots. When he turns around, he's he's dead last in my eyes. To be honest, he's fucking great from the front, from the side. He has everything, but a back. So, so, that somebody also asked me: Do they uh, give a points? by each military <laughs> pose. And if uh, Akeem Williams loses two back shots, okay, there's six and other ones. Yeah, yeah, Stop. yeah. I mean, I'm not saying he can't win shows. He wins. He's winning shows. He's proving everybody that he's winning shows. But when you get on a stage where, it, where it's 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 pose for pose, and you turn around, and, and I'm not saying he, he don't know how to pose or... It's I don't know. There's some yeah, damage. Yeah. Something wrong. It's it's getting worse every year. It's the same thing that Rami was experiencing, and I I, I could understand, and you could see it getting worse. His lat spread looked like he's got, he's got this little thing up on top, right and left. I don't know why. Both sides at the same time. What can there be? Because I remember him having a good back, really really good back. He's he's always had those higher lats. It's oh, kind of like. But at least he had him, you know. Yeah. So no, I came to the fucking front, great side shots, try shots. He's almost unbeatable. Yeah. Quite unbeatable, yeah. And then front of the biceps, those legs, those arms, the small ways. Going to show too. So he's doing a Romania, and I, I would just assume if if you had contest ready week before, why would you not do the, you know, no, next? There you are as well, right? Yeah, it's, I just don't don't understand people that don't do it. It's Europe, uh, two-hour flight. Can you imagine if if Chris wins the, the prop pro, the prop pro? Yeah, it's gonna be uh, it, yeah title win. Is this good for the sport or bad? With peace out. <laughs> but a lot right. of people. It's like it's like Chris. It's like <laughs> squat. <laughs> I, I command him hey, for it. That's like taking the white glove. <laughs> I mean, because you know, you, you run into a risk. I mean, he went out on top. You go back on stage two weeks, three weeks, four weeks later, and you lose. You didn't go out on top. But he's in his legacy already with that already, I think. I can't nobody take that away from him. And he's going to be the most popular bodybuilder in the next 10 years. Ain't nobody coming close. That's yeah. not if, even the question. If he don't win it, if he don't win it, then... History is gonna wipe it, sweep it under the rug. Yeah, but that's still, you, if you retire on top, don't you think you just you don't want to lose before you go to sleep? Mm -hmm. yeah, but it's a different sport. I it's hope it's not what it used because you know what it used to be like back in the days when Wayne, when Wayne was running shit. Thank God it's not happening with Tim, but with Wayne back then, shit. We would go on a fucking tour. You know he wasn't he wasn't on, and he still win the show. You know he Flex knew he won that show in Hungary before we even got there. <laughs> he already got the check. <laughs> I'm telling you, quarter time, quarter time, early top. We all go to fucking Hungary. Oh, I hated fucking Wayne for all this shit. We go to Hungary, right? We all fucking all cramped up in this fucking locker room. Uh, Flex, no, no, your room is here, and had a different separate room. I'm like. Hey, why don't you just tell us to come back at the foot for the fucking awards? You know what I'm saying? What are we doing this for? Yeah. <sighs> <I'm> <laughs> exciting though. I gotta say it's exciting. I, I can't wait to it's see what exciting, dude. he looks like standing next to these guys. And it's you know, and, and he's, hey, he's, he's, he's if, huh? if you if you are track promoter and uh Chris oh, yeah. asking, if Chris is asking for 17 degrees Celsius cold uh, <laughs> to pump up. We just have to go outside. and then mirrors you... around. <laughs> Would you get him? Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Whatever you need. <laughs> Shit, you some... Hey, you want some salmon on them house shoes? Uh, whatever. 
<laughs> you need some sushi? <laughs> no, but seriously, courage that he has. Courage that he has. He has a confidence. He's not going to go there, you know, not making a top five or shit like this. Like, so what some people say, what if? I mean, he is super competitive. Holy shit. Would you bet that he, he can win? No, I, I I put my money on him that he's winning. <laughs> I put my money on Chris Bumstead. Right now. Right here, right now. I'm saying Chris Bumstead is going to win the prop bro. You want to bet You want to bet against me? No. <laughs> no. Who? <laughs> Who wants to bet against me? I'm saying he's winning. Yeah, there you go. I'm not betting. I went with I. I mean, who you? Who you got? Smile. That doesn't say anything. Who you got? Smile, who you got? <laughs> who you got? Who you got? I have, I'm. I'm the ambassador. I don't want to make a bet. Fuck you, mean ambassador? I can't bet. I'm the ambassador of the competition. So fucking what? To go be an ambassador, you'd still say what you want. That'll be ludicrous. They'll be like, God, he knew something. Okay, Mr. Cormier, I think he's going to win. Uh, could you tell me, what's your job? I think he's going to win. Hmm. Hey, you're going to probably, as a ba ambassador, you're going to be giving a trophy. Yeah, I yeah. know. Dude. Prepare the speech. Prepare the speech. I know. Okay. Yeah, put, it, put it on your I'm phone. I'm going to talk about how far I came, how much bodybuilding has taught me and showed me and Nobody's listening because everybody's over there. Everyone's listening. listening. It's a big to do. It's gonna be a big to do. Yeah. It's gonna no, be, gonna what are you doing? What are you doing for real? Like, for real yeah. though. I'm the high, I'm the ambassador. They're gonna do like well, did I went there. Like, did you just yeah, say highlight, highlight reel? Oh highlight reel. I'm gonna make sure they got me beating each one each one of you guys. Make <laughs> sure I got dinners in looking like this in Australia. Make right. sure I got Got me doing the dance when uh, Milos took second at the Iron Man, <laughs> and I'm like, and I went like this, and I was like, ah. make sure. <laughs> okay, yeah. And then I'm gonna do a speech. I'm gonna talk about you guys. Boy, it's gonna take five minutes for you to get. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, here's the one. Yeah. Here, look, look, look at Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> hey, you know why I did that? Because I said, man, when I went my first show, I said, these guys just fucking raised their hand and started flexing. Yeah, first gonna, yeah, first one. I said, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make sure I make it like I make I scored a touchdown. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> all across the stage. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just had my show this past weekend. Bro, let me tell you something. How was it? Thursday to Friday, I slept three hours, right? Friday to Saturday, I slept two hours. Because it took forever. So I, I, I went into my room at 1 a.m. I got up at 3. I had to be at the venue at 4. Because they won't let me set up on Friday. I have to go in 4 o'clock Saturday morning to put the LED screen up. All that shit had to be done at 4 so I was up all the way till Saturday night. The show was over at 11. We cleared that fucking venue by about by, by midnight. I went to the hotel. We had ordered some food. So got to deliver. <laughs> oh, yeah. I couldn't even look at my phones. I had everything turned off. You know, I didn't look at the computer. So I ate. And then I got my laptop and I pushed play. Right. So I'm down. In my fucking room, I had the suite in the fourth floor. I had to, my Wi-Fi wouldn't even work because I'm too far back. So I had to take my laptop and sit in the fucking lobby like an idiot. <laughs> till like, hey, hey, I'm watching fights till like two or three. And then I was like, I can't take it no more. I went upstairs and I'm trying to lay down and I gave, I, I thought about, I could try a, a hotspot for my phone, right? To continue watching. So I'm laying there and I, I pass out. And literally at three o'clock and at three fifty, I wake up, and my heart was beating, like it was beating the congas again, bro. Let me tell you something. I was fucking freaking out. I said, "What's fucking going on?" It woke me up. I had, I was like, "Fuck!" I got up and I'm like, "What the fuck is going on?" I felt it in my throat. So I start, I start panicking. I walk up. I'm walking around the room. I walked around the, the room, attack? bro, bro. 
I had, I must have had a full on panic attack. I thought I was dying. I was, I was literally close to fucking open the door, walk in the hallway, knock on every door, and tell I people. Think exertion. Oh. Huh? Exerted, exertion, and. I had irregular heartbeat. Yeah, it I know, was, but that. Was, it was man. going every one. And then I, I literally stayed up until seven because I know I had to take Andrea Shaw to the airport. And 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 Anna, my daughter, and 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 and, and Olivia, I had to take him to the airport at seven thirty. So I'm sitting there. I'm sitting. I was I was done, bro. I was I couldn't keep my eyes open. So I was like, you know what? I told my daughter. I said, listen, I'm gonna call you guys an Uber. I called him an Uber. I send him off. And then I'm sitting waiting for Andrea. And then Andrea texts me. She says, oh, I, I couldn't sleep. I went to the airport early. I said, you could have told me that earlier, right? Uh. Now, <laughs> now I'm sitting there, and I had two options. Go up, try to go to sleep, because if I go to sleep, because they have that that uh, Frankfurt Marathon every year that same weekend, which means at ten thirty a.m. all the streets in Frankfurt closed for the marathon, so you'd be locked in basically until four in the afternoon. I had to, I know, I had to check out at eleven, so I said, "Fuck it, I'm going to go home." I drove home Sunday morning. I arrived at nine thirty. I took my niece home. I went to bed at 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I slept till seven o'clock the next morning. Bro. <laughs> Until this podcast, you were 40 minutes late. <laughs> I thought you were still sleeping. <laughs> Listen, I swear to God now, to be honest, this is my US phone that was here. I had all, everything was set. And this is my German phone. If you would have texted me on my German phone, I, I would have heard I had it downstairs. Yeah, give us this phone. I called you on a German phone, but it's just German speaking shit. You that know? means you don't have your phone open to call international. Oh, really? Is yeah. this what it means? I have a fucking T Mobile. What do you mean? Are you serious? You mean T Mobile Plus. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, try to call another international number. Maybe it's not, you have to open it. I never really call. I mean, you, you, nowadays you just call a WhatsApp. This, this, this phone works. I have this phone, and I use this phone in Germany. You know, so that's why. You know, I see this when I'm when I'm here, when I'm in bed. I use this phone, but other than that, I use this to call. Wow. So wow. I didn't do it on. It's not. It wasn't on purpose. It was just because I f I forgot that they turned the time. So back how was your show? A, a pro classic. It was awesome. It was awesome. So, yeah, Luca Rega. I mean, it was eight competitors. Yeah. It was not a young guy, huh? The young guy you know, who won the one that showed hands down. It was uh, yeah, that dude is that dude. Twenty two, huh? Twenty two, twenty two or twenty three? Oh, he cool. it just turned pro a year and a half ago. He already qualified now for his second Olympia. It's a Spanish guy, uh, uh, Jose uh, Munoz. No, he, I think that guy competed probably in Spain because it's Sunday. The next day is uh, Emilio yeah. show there. Yeah, that guy's good, man. Yeah, very good, very good. Got some young cats coming up. That's really good. Uh, your Let's winner see. is where from Germany? Yeah, Luca Rega. Yeah, yeah, real good, real good. He needs some more. He needs to fill out. He still got four or five kilos that he can add. He needs to add that. But that's, listen, he has glutes like only one person, and who would that be? Well, uh, no, no, no. Hamdullah. No. Hamdullah, bro, let me tell you. Let me find Hamdullah. it. Hamdullah was crazy. So you can see there's just fresh, young muscle. Young, but already it's good quality. And in, 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 in not everywhere, but he, he's getting better every year. He From last year to this but year. You made, a, at, at that young age, you wouldn't want him to be that crazy. A year and a half ago, I'm going to the to a south, my South German regional. He came to me the night before the show. He asked, can I take a picture with you? It was this little kid. He went to the next day. He competed at the regional and won that show. Mm. And within a couple of months, he did a pro qualifier, won his pro card. In May, this past May, he did the pro, pro um, a classic physique at my German national show and qualified for the Olympia. And now he qualified. I told him, I said, you should do Frankfurt the end of the year and then get an early qualification and then you have one year to just focus on the Olympia. And that's exactly what happened. How did he how did he look in uh, at the Olympia? How did he, what did he place? 
listen, there was 54 guys. I mean, yeah. 54 guys, there was 25 guys that looked fucking unbelievable. Yeah. You're going to get overlooked your first year. It's, it's not even, it's not, it, it, it's just accident. It's, you can't help it. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm saying, I'm saying this, you know, of course, Mike, Urs, Ramon, these three guys are probably the favorites to win the title next year. But I'm st I'm saying there's 15 guys that are for definitely next year not going to get overlooked because now there's no standard uh, uh, um, body where they, where they people judge you off. You know, there's no Chris where people say you got to be close to Chris. So now it's all over the place. You know, yeah. could it be Mike? Could it be Urs? Could it be Ramon? Could it be someone else? So I think yeah, the next you know, year. This is how I was I was writing uh, during the classic physique, right? Because there was like. 50, 60 guys, right? So I said, oh, this guy from Indonesia, number seven, <laughs> number 18 from Brazil, the, uh, you know. So there are so many good ones. Yeah. And they, they, didn't, they didn't even make a top 10. Yeah. yeah. So in, in a normal show. Like, there's guys that didn't make top 50. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah but they all won champions this year, so. Huh? They all were champions, though. Yeah. Um, Kylie, can you look up uh, on Instagram, Luca, L-U-C-A, and last name R-E-G-E-R. -E All right. I want to see if we can see what this guy looked like. Bring it down a little bit. Rolling pose right there. Hold on. That's See that one where he's kneeling, yeah, he's double, kneeling on the left? Look, put, click on that here for a second. Okay, now go back. There's a, there must be a video. I'm um, going to bring it down a little bit. Bring it down. Yeah, hold on. No, that's the Olympia. Go back. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let, let's see that. No, no. Come, come, go. Bring it down just a little bit. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Down. Um, hold on. Um, the, the eight shots. Get that, the front double biceps there. Eight shots. Yeah. Mm. Ah, shit. There's got to be. There's a video where you can see him from behind. From behind. I mean, the glutes are fucking hamdullah. Bring it down a little more. There's, is there no video? I saw a video. Yeah, right there is. Uh, okay. From me. No, 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 yeah, click on that. No, click on that way. He's holding my, my, uh, I think that is, yeah, click on that one. I think that's, hold on. I think that's where you can literally see it. Watch it, watch the video. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. It is. <laughs> that was it. But really, that shit was so impressive because he, uh, it was nobody even close. He needs, of course, more maturity, and he's young, man. I think the next two years, by the time he hits the 25, he's going to be very dangerous. Beautiful shape, you know. It's You can see it's already there. He just needs to fill out just a little bit. Yeah, I like that front double shape. Yeah. 20, at 23 years old, he's going to his second Olympia, man. How many people can say that? Yeah. You're not going to see blue shots of uh, me and uh, and Chris Cormier. But, Dennis, I found that picture. Which one? Uh, before the Olympia with you, Strider Glues, but you were naked, so you can't publish that photo, remember? Put a star on the crack. <laughs> yeah. Why? Uh, right. What's wrong with the crack, man? There ain't no nuts, nothing else. You can't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see your crack. I don't want to know your crack. With YouTube, what, what are they going to do? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't I don't know. What picture are you talking about? Uh, Olympia... Right before, you remember uh, the the famous Olympia that uh, you looked fucking spot on, and then two thousand three, two thousand one, right? Oh, two thousand one, where I was super dark. Yeah, super dark. Yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. And I took a shit lot of photos, but yeah, straight it looks like holy yeah, shit. yeah. Don't show it to Chris, man, because he still can't handle it. <laughs> yeah. So, so oh, make sure that in the speech we are, we are included. Chris, when are you coming home? Uh, tomorrow. 
Oh, shit, you get on that long flight. You flying business? I hope so. I was on premium coming here. Oh, so you're trying, oh, you're trying to upgrade. This little kid was kicked out. It was, it was all full. And uh, this kid kept kicking my seat, and I kept giving, looking oh. back. And his oh, father was get... right here, right? And Don't so I kept giving his father the business. Every time, I'm like this at his father, and he's like, he said, "Oh, he's not. It's not. His, he's not kicking it. He's he's pushing the uh, the uh, the screen." I said, "Yeah, but it feels like this." And then he looked at his kid. And just stopped I was like, "She's a oh. son of a bitch." Oh, <laughs> I already don't like flying. I mean, I I love kids, but I don't like to travel with kids. I'd be like, so I'm so upset about kids traveling. I'm like, why? He's not even gonna understand where he's going or why he's going. Not gonna. What are you saying? Did you, you just leave him wherever you leave, wherever you so, are? Leave the stay kids. home with him. Y'all had him. Stay home with him. Ah, y'all had him. Home. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, uh, and screaming and and they they don't care if they making so much noise and they want to get mad at you. Play you your phone with your own kids. They do that shit all day, so you don't care. It doesn't bother you no more. They don't care. But, you, but they get mad if you play a little, play your phone and they can hear your phone. But the kid could be as loud as hell as they want to be. They never say a word. I don't get that. Do better, airlines. What a fucking night, huh? Uh, the UFC? Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh I, that fucking Taporia, bro, he's going to end up doing whatever the fuck he wants to do. He kind of looks that way. I mean, you became a huge fan. But you were a fan of Volkanovski before, right? And yeah. you think in the rematch... I'm a Volkanovski fan, but yeah. I don't think Volkanovski can beat him. I don't think... I think it would be the same thing. <laughs> well, many people think that, but uh, yeah. No, but come on, come on. Explain. He did. He said he was going to do it, and he did something that nobody in I don't know how many years was even close to doing. Yeah, it's a major power <laughs> and a super skill. He knocked out... Uh, uh, Max Holloway, which never happened, he called it. I, I don't know. First two rounds were very competitive, man. Yeah, but it and was competitive. It was competitive with Volkanovski too, until he got knocked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, he, oh yeah, the, the the guy from uh. But you see, Australia. but did you, but did but did you realize that he was doing what what usually Holloway is doing, pressuring the other guy? Yeah. He was going backwards the whole time. How you let this little guy pressure you? That's how confident he is. He is super confident. There's no question. Imagine he's, him being on a Santiago Bernabeu stadium with a hundred thousand people. Oh, it's going to happen. Yeah, they had they had a, 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 um, a MMA fight here in Germany at Frankfurt at the stadium, the Eintracht Frankfurt Stadium. Really? There was two. No, I ain't even never heard of them names. This octagon. It's a it's an organization around here. They sold, this is two fighters from here, from Germany. They sold the stadium out with 60,000 a couple no. of weeks ago. Shit. I swear to God. Oct look it up. Octagon. 60,000. Everybody that I know was there. That was just a couple of weeks ago. I know. I know. So he would sell out. I mean, it's going to happen. But who is he going to fight? So he's going to fight Volkan. Alan McGregor. <laughs> yeah. I know. I let him. I know uh, it's uh, far fetched, and Connor needs to get his shit straight. But imagine if he does, and uh, they, they make that fight. You know, shit. <laughs> Did he make too much money? Here? Out of my ass, of course. Gregor would make. I don't think he would make fifty five. He made. Uh, yeah, he could. I mean, remember he he was making. Oh, he would have to stay out of the clubs and all that. He ain't doing. Yeah, it. but he's been he's been fed too much, and he. Uh, he ain't got it. No hey. He ain't got no more. He can't it's listen. Okay. Yeah, trying when to last, start. When the you, last time you, you won a fight? Sheets, you don't have that. Hunger. When the last time he won a fight? <laughs> the the last time he won a fight in was in the bar. Was in, right? The last, yeah, no, the last time he won a fight was in the bar in Ireland. <laughs> An old man. Yeah. He ain't win shit. Yeah. You know, you got guys like Ilya Toporia. You don't need no Conor McGregor. Wait, what? Watch what this Ilya is doing. I'm hey, jumping uh, all the way on the pickup truck. Hey, Dennis, did you guys hear of uh, uh, Nick Walker? Did he did he pick up a, another coach or did he? I, I heard something like that. I don't know. I just, Here, okay, tell me <laughs> if you heard something. I thought uh, 
I thought I heard that he picked another coach. I just don't know if it was Hani or Boss. Hani or Boss, I'm hearing. Honey? Between those two. I, I don't know. I don't know if Hani would even take him on because if Hani doesn't believe he can win the Olympics. Yeah, Hani is very selective, yeah. I, I mean, uh, uh, probably Stefan Boss like is going to have like uh, 10, 20 people at Olympia in an open division, you know? Some of, some of <laughs> and them. women. Yeah. You, don't yeah. All stay. you know how it goes. They don't all stay. They think everything is fucking new and now I'm going to not lose another show and then once you lose one or two shows, then you want to switch again because you're thinking there's something somewhere better somewhere else. It's just bodybuilding. But you know, the thing is, it's never going to be an easy diet for anybody. So it's all going to hurt the same. I don't think Nick has an issue dieting. I don't think he has any issues with staying strict. And, and do. I think he's one of the, I, I look at him as one of the guys who have a game plan and follow everything to the T. Don't you think he's a, a, have the ability to diet himself down? Everybody has the ability, but you you know, Chris, you know yourself. You know how to diet down. You knew what to eat. Yeah, no, I did. I did a few so, Olympias without eating. Don't know this is going the right way or not, even though you know it yourself. Just at the end, I just think the end, just, just you kind of trick yourself at how full you are compared to how down you need to be. That's my only thing. Because most people, most people, me included, as an amateur or, or as a, I thought I looked the best when I was doing it myself. And I didn't know what I was doing, to be honest. I had no idea. But you know how you feel inside. As an amateur, huh? You know how you feel inside. As an amateur, I was always dialed in. Yeah. You know my, when, you're young, when you're young, you can even do the wrong things and still look great. Yeah, and this, and this is what I said. You right. can do it. Because I remember I asked... You remember the guy from Italy, um, um, Piero Colucci? Yeah. Yeah. I asked him, how do I fucking diet for a show? <laughs> for the first universe, how do I diet? I, I didn't know. He said, he said I, I just remember, it's, uh, uh, turkey, pasta, and pineapple. Yeah. He didn't tell me how much. So I was eating as much as I could all day, every day. Like an Italian pasta. <laughs> <laughs> and I got in shape, bro. I got in shape. I remember I guess, the huh? first thing that was shredded was my ass. I didn't yeah. even know there was a muscle back there. Hey, I I go to uh, uh, Pattaya with Piero Colucci to Crocodile Farm, right? You know that story? You went to the Crocodile Farm? Yeah. You ended up with, massage with, with, your, with your wife and with my daughter, right? But, oh. but there's Piero there. So... It, there was a like picture taking with the crocodiles with the I said no no fuck that but there was picture taking with the tiger so he said oh, come on man you're not afraid he said okay you know tiger nice little cat why not you know <laughs> and they're taping it right so okay I'm gonna take a picture with the fucking tiger and so oh, don't worry that's a, a tranquilized fed. You know, he's sleeping, you know, don't worry about it. Okay, but they, they got me from behind, right? So then you sit and Tiger is here in front of you, right? Okay. So I'm thinking, if you're taking picture, like, okay, let me just like, you know, put the, my, my hand on the fucking Tiger. Man, when I put the, my heavy ass hand, when he growled, right? And the chain just says, keep going up. I mean, he could have just fucking bite me. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, what a stupid shit. And then, hey, listen, I go with my daughter on the elephants, and elephants are, like, on the two feet and all this shit, until I come back, and then Dennis told me, oh, you don't know there are, like, deaths that elephants step on the fucking tourist? I said, no. <laughs> you didn't tell me this before I went there. <laughs> he said, well, my, my one friend had a lion. My one friend had a lion in Mexico City. And it was his own pet lion. He had two of them, a lion and a lioness. It was in the cage, but he was like, want me to put the, the meat on my palm and feed it to him. And I didn't want to do that. But then he told him, I said, no, you feed him. And then he said, okay, his name was Pancho. He had him go get his tire. He had a car tire in his mouth. He comes out with a car tire. That's his toy. And his nails are coming out like this long and like sticking into the tire. And me being a Leo that I am, I'm like, okay, I want to get in touch with my my sign, my zodiac. So I put my hand through the cage and I touch his paw. That son of a bitch went 
bro. I was like, I was like, ah. I was like, yeah. the raw, I mean, he shook the ground with his voice. Can you imagine? It's fine. You got in touch with it, all right. Okay. Hey, he shook the ground with his voice. Though. I was like, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted to swipe the shit out of me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, um, shit, yeah. no, I lost it. Oh. But yeah. I, I said just uh, about Crocodile Farm, everybody that was working there, were missing fingers or hands or shit like this, you know. And they had that show, like, you put the hand in and the, the guy puts the fucking, you know, I watched, hand in. I watched the fail videos, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hell no. You do that shit, you're stupid. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Hey, I, I got into a into a, a cage with a crocodile in Australia. One of the bodybuilders that used to compete against me, he owned the, the zoo. Yeah, so he yeah. let me get inside the cage and I'm hitting a bicep shot right by his mouth, his mouth is open like this. I don't know, I, I haven't got that photo, but I surely got took a photo like that before. I wish I had, I, then I thought it was so damn stupid what because- What thinking? I mean- uh, I, I don't know what I was doing. It was only like sticks uh, like this tall nothing. that was dividing us from each other. And that thing, you could hear him that. sliding across the rocks. It sounded like a dinosaur sliding across the damn rocks to go, to go get the chicken. He has to pet him a chicken. That's when bitch went, Oh my god, it was crazy. But I, I thought later on, I was like, man, that was the dumbest thing I could have ever thought thought to do. Just thinking, just one little motherfucker. What you doing, I man? Do, I, I don't do that. I don't deal with wild animals. <laughs> you know right, what? Like, wild animal can't even go to jail if they fucking fuck you up. Yeah. You have no business being in there. You have no business fucking petting it or doing whatever. Taking. <laughs> hey, because let me put it this way: when I was. In Thailand with Dennis, he was okay. You came with uh, me and and Sin and my daughter a couple of times to temples, and even temples, he would find a chair and I fucking fall asleep there while, while I'm looking at the temple. <laughs> but it's crocodile farm. He didn't tell me nothing, right? Uh, and this guy will fucking take pictures with me laying there with my mouth wide open. <laughs> <laughs> I was too heavy, man, to be walking around in no temples. Yeah, shit. Anyway. So crazy. All right, Dennis, you probably have to go to sleep. And, and uh... Chris is the one tired. I'm laughing looking at Chris. Yeah. I am tired. I only slept two hours last night, man. Hey, you I both know, are just whining about I, no sleeping. I was, so, I was so fucking... I talked to my brother who had he used to have panic attacks years ago. Huh? And I called him and I told him about it. He said, yeah, he told me every, everything that that happened to me. He told me. I said, "Yeah, there's no sleep. That's what does. You get as you get to a certain age, you need your sleep. You don't get your sleep, your body's <laughs> hey, telling you. Hey, both you and your brother. Oh, hey, hey let, let me let me remind you. Panic attack at Olympia one time. Like we we went into the elevator, three of us, and uh, none of us pushed the button. You in the went? Elevator. No, you went in there with us. Yeah, I was with you. I was with you. How do I remember? Hold on, hold on, Milos, Milos, one second. I just told this story again yesterday. I yeah. thought it was just me and my brother. You were no, in there. I was there. Me. I was there with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it was so black, I couldn't even see Milos. Hey, you Chris, Chris, we literally scream like a motherfucker. <laughs> we're talking, we're talking, we're walking in the, it was the Mandalay Bay, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're walking to all that long hallway to the elevator. That was before prejudging. We're getting ready to go to prejudging, right? So we're walking into the elevator. Click, elevator opens up. We go in. We're talking. We were just, I don't know what conversation we had. So we all get in, but nobody pushes a button. So the, the door closes, you know, and we're just talking, 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 and talking, and talking, and the elevator is on standby and turns off its light. <laughs> elevator don't know we're in there. Hey, that was, was a panic attack. Light. So we didn't even know we're not moving. So now my brother is panicking like a motherfucker. I panic. I'm on the floor. I'm looking. I'm touching. I'm trying to touch <laughs> something. I'm trying to look before, the, you know, I can't see shit because it was all of a sudden bright, pitch dark. And then all of a sudden, I, I don't know what, all of a sudden, I must have touched something and the door opens up. We're in the same fucking floor, never even moved. Oh my God. I remember that oh, so well. I hold the two fucking uh, two uh, water in, no, in, in 10 seconds. Oh, was just you three in there? I thought it yeah, was just the three of us. Yeah. Yeah. Was in it too. And then, okay, now, now, just uh, one more thing. 
you know, you're whining about not sleeping. So I was there also, not sleeping fucking the whole weekend. And then we we had to drive from Vegas back to uh, Fullerton. And of course, I was a designated driver. And they, they were all fucking sleeping, right? And I fall asleep also. <laughs> you remember <laughs> when I went off the road and like they hit, they all hit oh. the top. <laughs> hey, you're, you're gonna kill all of us. We survived anyway. So yeah. but at least they, they got the different driver. Okay, and but we can't go before we do predict Prague at least. Uh, top three, top three. Martin is winning. Martin is winning. I think because he's just. Too complete, too good, too motivated, you know. And uh, I think it would be hard for Chris to, to manage. Who's who's placed the second? I mean, uh, I have a high hopes for, of course, uh, my uh, guy horse, but he's best of friends with uh, Rafael, and they were battling. So, of course, he respect his best friend. You know, beating him, he can't. He can't. Yeah, I mean, so of course he's gonna lose back double biceps pose, of course, but he can he can gain the ground on, on many other shots, right? Yeah, uh, you know, let's see what happens in Romania. It's gonna be easier to predict. So Romania is this weekend. No, ten days from now. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. right. and so and then uh, Prague is. Uh, Two and a half weeks from now. Oh, so it's Romania first, then Prague. And then Spain. Okay. Alina Popa. Yeah. Doing Prague. She's doing Romania. Romania's a huge show. They, uh, have, uh, Romania. they have all the categories. They have female bodybuilding. They have some, a lot of categories. Everything, yeah. Are, are you going to have a... Oh, you got, oh, who you have in second and third? Minos, don't be, come on. I don't want to, you know, predict, you know, it, it's hard to see Chris not making a top five, right? <laughs> you know, but, uh, but. Uh, oh, he's going to be in there. You think so? If Rafael, a... hey, if Rafael is uh, oh, his full time best. Top. Huh? So you got Martin winning. Who's second? Uh. I have Chris because it's Chris. Oh. <laughs> and who you have third? Third. It's gonna be between uh, uh, horse and uh, and uh, Rafael. Okay, so who? Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm so tired. You. You got a horse in fourth and <laughs> third. Third and fourth is gonna be. It depends how they look uh, after Romania. We can uh, easily tell. You know, okay, but now it's, it's before. You can still change it next week. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go with my guy, Horse. And horse? Then, uh, Rafael in fourth? Who's fifth? Well, Sean Clarita shocked me when he was in Reno. So if he can bring that look, I mean, they compare him with Big Ramy at the Arnold Classic, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So let some of the other guys be off. Which, which going to happen? There's not... There's not a show in, on, in this year where everybody was in shape. Yeah. 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 So who has the worst track record? Okay, so you guys now, you, you put me on the spot. Now you give predictions. I'm, I'm going to forfeit. Oh, no, 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 no. There's no such a thing. Come on, man. Faster. I don't want to be I'm doing it. I don't want to. Yeah, no, you, you can't be biased. <laughs> I, I can't be biased. <laughs> can't even send fucking messages on the fucking phone. Don't be doing that. Yeah, you said it. <laughs> You were sending everybody to sleep two hours last night. All asking. the people listening, he's trying not to say shit, and then as soon as we hang up, he'd be messaging. <laughs> All right. Who, who do you have winning? Who, who is winning? Oh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, what do you mean? What do I have you oh, here for? I don't think it's a good look. What do I have you here for? To tell me that you're an ambassador? Yeah. Okay. As an ambassador, he can he can be back. <laughs> yeah. I'm not ambassador like. Come on, you guys in the comments, let him know. That's not ambassador. -like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Right. Go ahead. I'm going with Chris Bumstead winning. Just because you have him in second, I'm gonna have him in winning for the same reason. Because <laughs> it's Chris. <laughs> I have, 
I have Martin in second. I have Sean Clarita in third. Yeah. I have uh, Rafael in fourth and, and Jose MD in fifth. Man. And that's not going to change until it's over. Oh, shit. He put a stamp on it. Yeah, that's not going to change. All right. So. Well, it's going to be yeah. other guys, too. We don't know. Yeah. So, well, next week we have another, because the Monday, next week Monday is the, no, that's for Romania. So we have another week after that to a Monday before they have the. Uh, hey, when is this going to air? This one, I mean, I'm trying to get it out, before, not not on Sunday. I'm trying to get this out in the next couple of days. Maybe yeah. tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. I know Kylie, she can do it. She already asked me, you know, if the, if it's without promos, you know, she can, she can get it done quicker. Kylie, you my girl. We love you. Yeah. All right. That's, That's it. it. Chris is tired. He's about to fall yeah. asleep. I'm tired. You yawning, you. You I'm, winking. I'm, I'm, I'm weak. On the ropes. I, I was so pumped up. I was here like 10 minutes early. You know, I was logged in uh, texting you, Dennis. It's okay. So, oh shit, Dennis is not answering. I, was, I, was, I, was I, was down, I spent some time with my mom downstairs because I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Oh, so, this is my last night. So, I went down with my German phone and left this one up here with the computer. I have everything set up. So, I come up at 7 38, getting ready to speak to Kylie. And then I see the messages. I was like, and then I thought about, ah. <laughs> did, 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 did they not change the time? Okay. Hey, my bad. Listen, All you right. guys, I give you guys five more minutes to fucking trash shit on me. Do what you <laughs> hey, don't worry. <laughs> we trash you off the camera, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes. I, was, I, I, was gonna do, I don't even want to know. Shit. I was gonna do you like uh like uh what's his name? Um Striding used to do me when I come late to the training. I come oh, really? in there all smiling. Hey, hey, what's up, man? What's up? Hey, what's happening, Gary? And he's all doing curls in the mirror. He's like, no highs, no hello. Just fucking warm up. <laughs> he just warm up. I was like, damn. <laughs> he was straight face. <laughs> you guys know me. I'm never late. This yeah, shit was, yeah. you know, I'm never late. Ready. I'm an early guy. I'm always early. Yeah. That's I'll true. make it up. I'll give you guys 10 minutes next time. I'm not late. very German of you. That's for sure. I'm going to take your stripes away. <laughs> <laughs> not okay. very German. You guys right, go I'll see you guys next week, man. I'll be back. I'll be back. Right, brother. Get some rest. Have a safe flight home. Huh? Get some rest. Have a safe flight home. Both of you. All right. Okay. Take care, guys. Yeah. Peace. Peace.